So today, I figured I needed a uh, bench grinder. So, of course I uh, came up with my own solution. Uh, I didn't feel like going out. Re reuse uh, what I have. So, what do I got here? I got a 12 volt battery. Which I can run this off of, but it runs on quite a slow speed because it's a 90 volt DC motor out of a treadmill. This is a treadmill motor, let's see, by Westlow Incorporated. Uh, 1.25 horsepower, which, you know, that only depends on how much power you give it. But, uh, you know, I mean, a little bench grinder. Kind of just Mickey Mouse while I'm figuring it out here. Powered by a laptop power supply, which is I uh, got a 16 volt and a 36 volt output. So I imagine it's not really built for the the amperage that this motor is, but a, the motor's just going to run basically on what it's given. So I'm just test running it and leaving it running for a little bit to see whether I've got. Uh, myself a bench grinder but uh, anyways that's my little video treadmill motor laptop power supply and the stone I actually picked up from a thrift store again I had to use JB weld to fasten it on there I don't know how well that's gonna last um, but because I can only put low pressure on, I don't have the real amperage to drive it, so I gotta sharpen things gently. But it's it's like a 40 grit stone, really really rough. It's only good for really rough work, Just starting out knife edging or reshaping your edge, and from there you can use other grits. But I'm also tempted. It's got. A large flywheel that I attach this to. I'm also tempted to put a band of sandpaper across that. Very, very light sandpaper. And then I can use that for just polishing off the very last of the marks that this thing can be behind. This thing uh, leaves some pretty nasty edges. I don't know if you can see the knife. It's, uh, got a pretty rough edge on it so that's quite the nasty edge I'll have to hone that down but once again I got myself a bench grinder out of spare parts thank you for watching hope you uh, get to do some of this 